Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a distillation of the excellent weekly thread from Burton Simmons on Reddit. For finer details on the why and the what of the Thargoids activity then do give that post a look, I've linked it below. If you find this information useful and enjoy our content then please consider giving the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. The following stations were attacked by Thargoids this week and are currently on fire and subject to ongoing rescue operations. Bean Station in New Kuang Hins Hub in Ungobe Smith Reserve in LDS 883 as well as evacuating civilians from these stations you can also help by delivering food, water, basic medicines and natural fabrics to the affected stations. If you are going into a burning station bring all the heat sinks. Links to my previous videos on this subject are below. If you're looking to attack Thargoids then scout vessel infestations are being reported by the Eagle Eye sensor network in the following systems. HIP 13173 Garico UO Digenta Pamepatung which sounds like it should be on the periodic table HI 1257 and Kagat Suchi. Really Frontier? Really? If you are engaging in anti Thargoid scout combat operations you don't necessarily need specialised equipment but the entry level anti xeno weaponry requires no unlocking and it really helps. The scout class vessels also count as elite ranked ships so this is an excellent way to level up your combat rank. For the more hardcore combat zone encounters the following systems are under Thargoid incursion right now and will have combat zones that offer both scouts and larger Thargoid vessels. LDS 883 Ungobe Nu Kuang As you can see we're in a much better state than we were a few weeks ago. For the scouts and the death daisies I'd recommend decontamination limpets are added to your standard arsenal and you might want to think about taking shed loads of heat sinks as well. The cone sector critters will struggle to track you when you're cold. If you're looking to wing up with other commanders then there's links below to the AXI, the Hive, the Hand and the Squadrons of Humanity. Between them these organisations have all platforms covered and will help you find advice as well as comradeship therein. Commander 100 Rub of the AXI directed me to a lengthy post he made on Reddit regarding the upcoming AX weapon choices that we might have in the near future. If you're super cautious of spoilers then give it a wide berth but if you are perhaps interested in the more technical breakdown of the choices and why one might be better than the other do give it a read. I've linked it below. Wherever you go commanders remember pick your fights with care. As things are somewhat quieter and slightly more under control on the AX front now would be an excellent time to get involved with Operation Ida and their efforts to get the previously damaged stations back online. If you want to help with that effort please see links in the description below. Ida coordinate the rebuilding efforts for the wider galactic community and will have you covered on where to go and what to bring with you. All you need is a galactic map and a few cargo racks. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and I'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then O7 CMDRs may all your high predictions be brief and don't let the terror daisies give you nightmares. I very much look forward to seeing you next time.